So for everybody listening, so we think the the way we understand the gut brain axis and we'll say immune system activation. So implants are definitely stimulating because they're a foreign body, hip, knee, breast, dental, they all can cause and do contribute to immune system activation. There is nothing that you can put into a human that's not going to cause some sort of reaction when it's not their own tissue. That's just the way the body works. It's being surveilled all the time. And then when you're immune system kicks up, sometimes it stays, it's like leaving the faucet on and flooding the house because you left the faucet on. So if you can't turn it off, which we know from research that's coming out now, that there are certain interactions between the breast tissue and if there's biofilm, that contributes to it. So I think more and more evidence is showing up to both validate you know, your experience and my patient's experience where they have these symptoms instead of it being written off as being postpartum or having anxiety and or depression and being offered an SSRI, being offered something then because you can't sleep and your cortisol levels are high, being offered Valium or whatever the sleeping drug is because nobody really wants to be drugged up. But I feel like all my patients either get offered steroids and antidepressant or a sleeping pill or all of the above. Yes, I was offered, what was I offered? Anti-anxiety medication from my doctor to solve it. And that's when I was like, no, not for me. Not to say that people don't need that, but it was not for me. And so that's why I started doing cold therapy. 